My name is Trisha, AKA Jaw Dropping James. And I would like bigger boobs. And bottom line, I need my jaw line to match my feminine beauty. I just feel like my jaw is too masculine and I wish it was more I was a weird kid growing up. I was very shy and I was really insecure. I always wore sunglasses all the time, even at nighttime. I wasn't comfortable in my skin because I was born male and on the inside I always knew I was a girl. I used to draw pictures when I was in high school of like, you know, just like very exaggerated women. I was a big fan of like Amanda Lepore. I used to tell like my art teacher, I'm like, I'm gonna look like this one day. And she would look at me like, okay. <laughs> when I started my physical transition was when I was 20 years old and I started taking hormones. My first surgery was my first boob job and my first nose job, and that was in 2014. My first implant size was very small, 200 cc's, because that was kind of all that they could fit under my tight skin. My next surgery was 700 cc's, and they made my nipples smaller as well. And the smaller the nipple, the bigger the boob looks, you know. <laughs> well, my third boob job was probably about a year after, and I got a little over 1,200 cc's. I just wanted them to look more fake and more like porn star. Two months prior to my third boob job, I got my jaw shaved and I told him, like, I'm like, dude, I want no remnants. I want it tiny AF. I'd rather you take too much than too little. I felt like the doctor did something, but they didn't go in enough. It was so huge and swollen for like months and I couldn't brush my teeth for a week. Girl, <laughs> it was disgusting. Overall, I probably spent about $75,000 on plastic surgery. I've had three boob jobs, two nose jobs, a jaw shave, a lip lift, and a ton of fillers. And then Trisha James was born. My goal is to be the perfect bimbo. Doll. I'm gonna go see Dr. Nassif and Dr. Debro to get my boobies bigger. And I'm hoping that these doctors, unlike the last doctor, go in on this chin. I want the Ferrari of chins. I need to find an outfit to meet our distinguished panel of judges AKA the doctors. <laughs> Jesse and I are fraternal twins. People always have like this idea of twins, like they have like this psychic connection and we don't have psychic abilities. I don't want to know what he's thinking. He drives me crazy, but. <laughs> so are you excited for the doctors? I'm super excited to meet the doctors. I want to do my boobs bigger. You know, I've been wanting those bigger and I want my nips to be a little bit more like higher, like porn star nips, you know? Higher up. Yes, to give them look. That's a look, huh? And I really want them to do my chin. I think Dr. Nassif and Dr. Debro for sure could help me with my chin. They might not want to help me with my boobs because they might think it's too much, but I'm going to ask them anyways. I'm going to try to charm them. All right, let's see it. Ooh. What do you think? <laughs> what? Is this what I should wear to meet the doctors then? I don't know if that's the look for to meet them. <laughs> Oh. I don't know about this jacket. <laughs> I love the top. <laughs> I really like the top of the jacket. Ooh, she's she's a slipping. <laughs> Next outfit. Ooh. It's very me. <laughs> Do you think I can wear this one to meet the doctors? No, absolutely not, no. You don't think they would appreciate it? They might appreciate it, but I don't think it's appropriate. Sexy, sexy. Trisha, we're in public. Act accordingly. <laughs> So, I get a pair of fraternal twins coming in. It's almost like feminizing surgery that she's had. So these were fraternal boy twins. So you're right. Looks like a lot of plastic surgery, but what's, yeah. what's the big problem? The chin. She wants to see if we could, you know, she if we can it. drill that down. So let's meet them. Yeah, for sure. Can you please send in Trisha? Hi. Trisha, hi. How are you? I'm feeling nervous, but don't get me wrong, girl. Tits are coming out. <laughs> so welcome. 
Thank you. Uh, we know that you're a plastic surgery aficionado. Yes, that's a big word. And that you guys are fraternal twins. Yes. Were you guys close growing up? We shared a bedroom till we were like 23. Yeah. Really? really? Yeah. Super close. Yeah. Then, yeah. Best friends. We, we definitely are, are best friends. That's great. So was it obvious that she was a girl? Um, yeah. She's a girl. Mm -hmm. When I started my trend, my physical transition, he kind of started his too, and he did hormones too. Oh, yeah, you know I what took mean? steroids so, and everything. Like to get muscular, yeah, so muscular. Yeah. muscular and everything. So she tried to be more feminine, I tried to be more yeah. masculine. So we both really? kind of, you, you look very feminine. Thank You're a girl. Thank you. There's no question you. about it. You were born thank a girl. Thank you. Thank you. I was born this way. No doubt. What's your excuse? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Dr. Debro, he's he's a shady queen. He's a shady one. <laughs> Him, yeah, he's shady. When did all this start? I started the physical transition about 10 years ago with hormones, mm. and then the surgeries were about, like, probably five years ago. How many jaw surgeries? Just one. You've had one? Just one, yeah. Any numbness from the previous bone shaving? Yeah, I can't feel half my face. Really? Yeah, I have numbness here, and then I can't feel, like, above my lip either. Really? And breast, how many times total? Three. Three. What type of, uh, what size implants do you have in there? 1,200. Wow. So your skin's stretched. And she ain't done yet. <laughs> what are your goals? Um, I want to do a bit more to my chin. I want to shave it more. Anything else, or that's it for us? I want to get my boobs bigger. Bigger? Bigger, and I want more porn star looking boobs. I feel like the nips are more like in a natural position. I want them like higher up, like more, you know. So you want a very plastic surgery look? Yes. And you want us to help us achieve that for you? Yes. I love big boobs and I want them bigger. Go big or go home, and I'm not going home today. No, ma'am. Before we start, I have a question. What's the question? Because we both have twins, Aww. so we have a big twin experience. Yes. So who came out first? I did. I'm two minutes older. You play with the same kind of toys and stuff yeah, like that? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we, we both, both played with Barbies. Barbies. Oh, you did? You did. We yeah. did, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you played with Barbie, you want to be a Barbie. Yeah. Yes. Kind of Our sense. stepdad actually just calls Barbie. Barbie boys. Barbie yeah. boys. What do you say? Interestingly, Paul also has an obsession with dolls, the inflatable type. So we have 1,200cc saline implants, right? Yes. Under the muscle or on top? On top. On top, OK. The normal distance between the bottom of the areola and the crease is usually about seven or eight. Mm -hmm. And you are, you know, nine and a half already. You can't raise the areola by doing an areolar lift. Because yeah. you just the skin's too tight. Mm -hmm. So the only possible way to raise the areola is to drop the mound. But I'm concerned this is so tight that if you drop this even a little bit, you're going to get that double bubble. Ever heard yeah. of that? It's like bottoming out. Bottoming out and yeah. this blip, blip, double contour right. thing, which is not very attractive. A double bubble is where the attachments from the breast to the chest wall are disrupted, and you get a double contour. Trish has been very lucky up to this point, and if she goes any bigger at all and she gets a double bubble, that will be very unsightly and probably extraordinarily difficult to reverse. Theoretically, you might be able to get away with going bigger, although these little bitty stretch marks, mm -hmm. that's the beginning of breasts in distress. Mm. And that will get worse, too, if you go bigger. Yeah. Who wants breasts in distress? That's not the look. We want breasts right. So I want to do a little something here. Yeah. This is sharp. OK. Tell me about this. Sharp? No. Don't. Yeah, more over there. OK, so right here, it's off. Trisha's jaw does have a good amount of nerve damage because of the chin shave, which is very common. But overall, it looks pretty good. And what I'm worried about is if I operate on her chin, I'm going to make the nerve damage worse. So let me tell you what can be done mm -hmm. and what are some of the risks. This part, yeah, you can do a little bit. You are at more risk for injuring the two nerves. Two things could happen hit the nerve. One, you're numb, which would be the less of the two evils. Two, you create chronic pain. And that pain in here, if that happens, 
it can ruin your life. Oh, wow. The last thing you want to do is have a problem speaking. Right. If your lower lip doesn't work normally, imagine smiling and one side just stays up. I was a little nervous after I did this lip look. Yeah. That kind of was affected for a second. Really? Well, it hurt to do things. Opening your mouth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but this time you're going through scar tissue, which means more swelling. The more swelling you have, the more pain you have while you're healing. <sighs> I can't go through that swelling again. I don't want to go through with a chin surgery because I don't want to have no droopy lip. But my surgery journey is not stopping here. I have like a surgery list, you know, for sure. Pleasure meeting both of you. Thank so you. nice to and meet you. Pleasure. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Hopefully you don't need us in the future.